is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. September 15th, man, you gotta love it. Let's make it a great night and a great week. Be impeccable with your word. Replace fear with love. This is a great card, folks. The human mind is like a fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. When you're impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer a fertile ground for the words that come from fear. Your mind is only a fertile for the words that come from love. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up uh, 218, NASDAQ up 112, S&P's up 33. Gold, gold contract down $13.90, trading at 1793 an ounce. You get silver down nine cents, twenty-three dollars seventy-nine cents an ounce. Late sweet crude up two twenty, seventy-two dollars sixty-six cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note down seven ticks, trading one thirty-three twelve. Thirty-year off half a point, off fifteen ticks at one sixty-three twenty-seven. And king dollar, king dollar is down sixty-six ticks, trading ninety-two five five seven. Euro one eighteen, yen one hundred nine point four three, and the British pound at one thirty-eight to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We take a look at the SPY out here. You're up 350. Uh, you rejected lower price. Uh, we didn't get to the low of yesterday. This is kind of intriguing. But the bottom line is that you got down to a price a point of 443.44 today. And... That baby that's going right into where we basic where we went topside on the 23rd. Now we went topside on the 23rd with 54 million folks. We're going to do more than that. So this roll is still on downtown. That's the bottom line. That's how I read this. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. It looks to me like the NDX is going to get the volume today. Uh, you got a rejection of lower price thus far, but it looks to me if you get 34 million, then what you actually have is that you, you got a lower low with volume. That's saying you're going to be right back down there. Now, it's a little clearer of what the NDX or the three Qs have actually done here. They got down to a price point of uh, 373.37. Well, the high of its strength is 373.93. You know, so you get down close to that high, rejected lower price, bottom line, it's going to be the same type of setup, though. If we get 34 million or more, that's saying you have a lower low with volume, saying it wants lower price. We go take a look at the small caps inside the IWM. What do we have with the IWM? The IWM out here, you get a bounce. Well, now it's 17.9 million. This is a light bounce, man. Um, that's the that's this is going to be intriguing with the small caps because the small caps. You have the commodity stocks and the small caps, and that's when they do catch a bid, they're, they're a big bid. And that's what we did have happen when you take a look at this back on the, the September 27th, I mean August 27th. That being said, what's still sticking out like a sore thumb are these two high volume lows. You got a high volume low at, at, 30, at 208 as well as 209. So my take, particularly how this is bouncing today, see that the small caps are bouncing with tremendously lighter volume today. That sets up lower prices coming at you. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market. You're going to see the note and bond market. You're pulling back. You're pulling back with tremendously lighter volume. 
Uh, we did one, I think it's 1.5 or 1.7 yesterday. Let me see. We're down today on 1.2 million contracts. And yeah, we went 1.553. Uh, this one's higher price. That we went up with 1.553 and back with 1.2. We got to take a look at the 30 year. Now the 30 year really had some action. Uh, the 30 year actually had taken its nose and jumped above the whole consolidation it was in yesterday, and you pulled back today. So today we're coming back with 325, 225,000 contracts. Yeah. Still, and we'll go up yesterday with uh, 493. It wants higher price. Good old King Dollar. What do we have with King Dollar out here? This one is going to get really intriguing because today it's just a toss up, man. So, you know, what you had yesterday is that you rejected lower price at 92,300. You go higher to, well, you didn't go higher today. You went sideways today. Um, you get a sideways move like this. It's, you know, I. It's like, okay, you're going to go for the high of Tuesday first versus the low. And bottom line, it's not giving us much information. That's the real bottom line. Let's go over to the euro and take a look at the euro. So the way the euro is set up, yeah, euro looks like it wants a little bit lower price. So that would be saying that it would be higher for the dollar. We go take a look at the German pound. When I say lower price, here, let me give you the lower price too because that's, that's what made basically had the – this is interesting too because that, this is what – now the dollar should – should be up a lot more. Oh, I see what's happening. Oh, I had the wrong one up. Interesting. So the euro is actually up. But that's still sideways. So the euro is sideways. 118. We take a look at the British pound. The pound's up also. Now the pound wants higher price. Looking at the pound, that's telling me they want higher price. The toss up on the euro right now. The yen. We take a look at the yen. Oh, this is good for the gold market. The yen broke. So we broke lower in the yen. We went to 109.11. You're at 109.41, but that sets up, that sets up a swing of 108.72. Yeah, this yen broke pretty good last night. Let me go take a look at the Nikkei. So the Nikkei, all of Asia was down last night. Nikkei wasn't down bad, 158. Uh, whoa, that being said, you know, it's wild as if you take a look at this uh, pattern up here, though. This is a sick pattern. Um, okay, so let's see. Yeah, that'd be right. That's in real time. So this is, this, this pattern here, folks, if you're into candlestick charting, this is a very hard pattern to do. This is a tri-star doji. What a tri-star doji is, is that you, ha you get a doji, you go to a higher high, you, and then you basically gap lower and get another doji. And that's, that's a tri-star doji, man. Uh, if the Nikkei goes down at all tonight, that is a signal that the Nikkei is going to go all the way back down to the lower end of consolidation, which would be a total mind blower. That is some serious business inside the, the Nikkei right now. Dow. Dow Industrials are up uh, 251 now. It's up 119. S&P's up 37. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500 plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 269. Nasdaq's up 127. S&Ps are up 39. Let's go inside the NDX 100 and take a look at we have the strength versus the weakness out here. So the strength out here today is eBay. eBay's up 4%. You get Fox up 35 And you get Walgreens Boots up, up 34 Taken away from it. Electronic Arts is down 5.4%. You get Starbucks off 3.8. Pindodo is off 3. And Qualcomm's off 2.3. Now, if we go over to Electronic Arts, I want to show you something here with Electronic Arts because this is, if you really want to get your head wrapped around price and volume, this is like a classic. And it's very subtle. So if you have my book, The Out of Time in the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, you, you get, you've seen this before, okay? And this is one of these deals that's harder to teach this than to actually, you got to be through it a few times, okay? So I'm going to go through this a little bit slow so you can really kind of get it. And remember, the program's archived in case you're in your car, okay? But this is a classic, man, okay? And this is what it is. So I have a six-month daily up, okay? What you're going to see is that, you know, first Electronic Arts hit a high up here with 348.89. Now, when it hit that high of 348.89, you can see the volume had contracted dramatically after you actually went down with some volume about a month before that, okay? So we'll start at that level. You start at the, the high of the 146.89, okay? Bottom line, it failed on price with light volume. Bottom line, ends up going sideways for a bit. Then basically um, takes a huge deep dive on the 5th of August. On the 5th of August, it goes from a price point of 145 to 134, okay? Now, what you have there is that you get a high volume low. And when you look at this, you're going to see that it grinded all the way back topside again. Now, watch what it did. It grinded, grinded, grinded. You got volume in the equity on 1.5 million, 147.13. Well, the high of what it was going after was 146.45. You had 1.6 million there. It got up to that level with 1.5. Okay, now this is where the... It's subtle here, folks, and this is what you want to just wrap your head around. Okay, so, so watch what happens here. It's 1.695 that you came down on. You have light, light, light volume. You get up to that level again, and you do 1.52. So at that point there, it's like, oh, man, okay, are you going higher or not? And that, that's really, that's a toss-up, but you do have lighter volume by, I think, 200,000. Actually, more than 200,000. 200 and... 
260,000. Okay, so you still have, you know, that's a good what? That's a good 15%. But that's not where that's not where you really get the signal. What happens then is this. Then you get to a higher high with 767,000. And when you do that, you're failing on price and failing on volume on the test of that was generated out here on the 31st, as well as the high volume downdraft of the uh, August 5th, okay? What ends up happening? And you're gonna see this, okay? Bottom line goes sideways, gets a little bit lower, volume expands as it gets lower, gets higher, yesterday do nothing and slam. You come down, you come down hard, this baby, my point more than anything is that if you basically wrap your head around this, um, time in the trade works both ways, folks. On the way up and way down, and it, can, it, it, keeps, it keeps you in an aspect that, okay, now, now does it want to break out the lows? What does it want to do? Does it want to break, is there more pressure on the way down? Is there more pressure on the way up? If, the, if it wants to go higher, what should happen is that there'd be less pressure on the way down, then as it goes up, you're going to see expansion of volume as it goes up. That's electronic odds. The, the, now watch this. We'll go to uh, Starbucks. Um, SB. You're going to see, Starbucks is in trouble. Starbucks looks like it's going to be an ABC structure down. So Starbucks is down 450 today. What you have with, with Starbucks, Starbucks bottom line is down off its highs. You can see it, has, it doesn't have any volume at highs, light volume at highs tremendously. It made a high with uh, 4.8 million shares. Um, failed, you know, couldn't handle price. Comes back up. Now watch this one. This is actually, this comes up to ICE. And ICE is a Wyckoff term um, that's also in time industry. But that's where it is basically broken down, you know, somewhat on the 20, I mean, the 3rd of August. Comes up to that level, couldn't hold price. Now what you've done is that you come down to the B point. The B point is 113.61. Well, you, you broke the B point today and you broke it with volume, folks, okay? So what happens now is this. When you break a B point and you break it with volume, but you close above it, that just turns into a complex ABC structure on the way down. So my take is that you still have an ABC structure on the way down. Your A point is there as a 126. Your B point is 113, so uh, is it 26, I said? Yeah, so you get 13 bucks. Your C point is up here at uh, 120, so we're talking about 107. Now, you're talking about 107, 109 is your swing point there, and let's put this up on a weekly. We put this on a weekly. The bottom of the consolidation is 109. The top of where its strength is is 107. So. This looks to me it's going to 107. That being said, it can go a lot lower, man, because Starbucks basically has gone forward without volume going all the way up. But uh, there's two of those right there inside of the NDX 100 uh, that could give you just a, just a real nice clue um, as to how markets work. And it blows my mind. There's no doubt, man. Let me tell you something. It blows my mind how, like, they can get it all the way back up. You can test that high, but when you test that high on light of volume and you have a high volume low and you get a failure on price and volume, that's where it wants to go, man. It, it, well, it blows my mind about the, the whole aspect of how technically price and volume go is that they actually can get it up that high with no volume and then, let, and then it lets loose again on the downside. Let's go with the Penduo Duo and take a look at that. That's down 3, 307 today. And this baby here, so this came, this had a low that was generated out there at 74 bucks. Gets up to 108. This is backing down. This is going to consolidate for a while. That's what it looks like. Uh, we were talking about win in Las Vegas Sands yesterday. Uh, they're having some serious problems out here today. Wind's down another 650. So wind was trading uh, before they opened yesterday at 104. It's 85. Where's Las Vegas Sands? And when we went through the numbers yesterday, it was interesting. Las Vegas Sands um, actually had a, a 
bigger exposure to Macau, but uh, it rejected lower price today at 36.15. I wouldn't be buying this. I wouldn't buy anything, folks, that you have to depend on China for, because what you're going to see here, what that was all about was when and, and Macau is that that's all about the aspect. Right now, if you do business uh, in Macau, the way it worked out is that the local companies, meaning the government companies, had to own 10% of the, of the company. Bottom line, they came out with the memo yesterday morning, and guess what? They're going to own a lot more of it. Number one. Number two, which I think is the biggest thing, picture that you're a big whale in China, right? Do you think you're really going to go to Macau and start gambling millions of dollars when you get every freaking watchdog in the world there, and you know that they're clamping down? No, that ain't going to happen, man. Then the big gamblers are going to stay away for a bit. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up at 249. NASDAQ's up 124. S&Ps are up 37. Let's go take a look at Cisco. So check this out, folks. This is pretty wild in, in Cisco's case. Yeah, now, pitch it. Cisco's been around a long, long time. I mean... Uh, big time. I mean, Cisco, uh, if you go back to like, you know, 94, 95, 96, 97, that was the stock to have. Um, and intraday out here, so they have an investor day, but intraday, they, they thought they were going to pull off something pretty cool, meaning that, you know, they're going to come out with an announcement intraday. And they did. Okay. The bottom line at their investment um, forum, they came out saying, hey, man, we're going to be basically making more money than we ever thought, meaning their, their estimates. They, they raised their own estimates, and you, you'll see this. At 2.30, 
they come out and said they raise their own estimates intraday by five to seven percent. Now, they folks, I mean, companies in the nineties used to do this all the time to you know basically rocket their stock. Okay. Well, bottom line, what ends up happening is that yes, the stock rocketed up to fifty nine fifty four, man, and some fund must have been just waiting there to pounce on it because look at this ten minute bar, two point five million. Okay, bang, the next bar. 5.4 million shares. Cisco just did itself in, whatever else they said. Uh, at Either at the forum they're at right now, at the Investor Day, or in general. Because now with this thing, this thing sets up now a rundown of $54 uh, when you get such a failure. And the failure is pretty, pretty incredible, too. So it's going to be wild watching this uh, basically uh, shake out. Uh, and, you know, that's, uh, that's so intriguing when that happens intraday, because you don't see it a lot anymore, intraday. In the 90s, it used to happen all the time. It goose it right before the close, 15 minutes before the close. And all you, had to, all you really had to get straight in the 90s, folks, is that where, let's see, well, uh, Sun Micro, uh, Sun Micro, Microsoft, Dell, and Cisco were going. Yeah, those, those four right there, and that's when the NDX 100 was hot. Uh, if you got those right, you could you could really push things around. It was it was pretty crazy, man. But uh, guess what? That just uh, backfired on Cisco. Whatever that was, they just either uh, gave a big fund a, a real present, or you know, uh, some, someone sold into it. and They sold into it a large way. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities here in this marketplace. Uh, Apple Apple just doesn't have any strength, man. Apple's up 93 cents. You're dealing at 149, but there's not there's not much there. Uh, we have uh, Bank of America is up 43 cents. You got, uh, let's see, Uber is down 50. You got Win Reserves off 630. That's a big one. We talked about that. Um, not, a, not a whole lot of uh, action in, in the higher volume ones. Inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness point wise out here. You get the Dow up 260. Uh, leading the Dow is uh, United Health up 37 positive points. Microsoft 33, Caterpillar 22. Taken away from it, Goldman's five. No big deal. Uh, if we take a look at the, the Dow Industrials now, what you're going to see, the Dow has been the indice leading us lower, folks. And what you have out here is that we got, let's see, you have to get anything, yeah, 35,091. It has to get back above that, okay, in order to basically even think about going after a tie. It, once it got below that area, folks, that's trading in a lower zone. My take is that the Dow's going down to this uh, 17th of, uh, 18th of June. 18th of June is the is the is one of the numbers. The other one's July, right? Is that July 19th? Yeah, July 19th. And uh, July 19th would be first, but the bottom line, the lower end of this consolidation uh, is down to that level. TWI, let's see what we got here. This is Titan, I believe. This is the wheel people. Titan International, yep. So this is, uh, the low is 254, the high is 1182. We, next time they come out with numbers is on the 5th of November. Look at this, this hasn't got the traction. Okay, so you rejected lower price. Let me see, Four, 454,000. Okay, so you did reject lower price with tremendously lighter volume. Let me put this on a weekly for a second. Okay, so last May of 2020, $1.16. You go to 11.82. You pull back into strength. Let's see what this was, too. Okay, so this did a, almost a 50% retracement of its move. You came back into some strength with tremendously lighter volume. Now, the strength that you came back in was the strength from January of 2021. Okay, um, you rejected lower price, tremendously lighter volume. Even last week we had, well, last week was a holiday, 1.3 million. It was the week before, 1.3, so that's still good. Yeah, that's just saying to me, you rejected lower price right now. Now the real question is going to be, can you build some cars to get to higher price? 
that's how that baby is set up right now. And if we take a look at the, what they're looking for in November, they're going to be looking for $415 million, which is slightly lower than the last quarter. And uh, then the next quarter is three ninety nine, but then it goes up tremendously again. You know, so the bottom line is that they are looking for a couple softer quarters. We go and take a look at the oil contract. The oil contract, th this thing, uh, this wants higher price, man. Yeah, you're up two twenty eight. You've done three hundred eighty thousand contracts. What's that? Four oh three. We won't do that. Now, see, this gets interesting. This is almost an ABC structure on the way up. But what, hap what happens is that even though we, we have 380, you won't get 20,000 contracts, even though we got a half hour left. Because what, what does happen with the oil market, folks, most of this contract volume inside of the uh, oil market, bottom line, comes in very early in the day. That being said, if I put the oil market on a continuous contract, just so you can get a little bit more clarity, uh, technically on this, watch this, I'll put this on a weekly and you're going to see that it's like glaring at you that this uh, 76.98 is game. That's how this is kind of set up right now. Uh, so I expect we're going to see it. Let's go to the XLE. Uh, uh, XLE, yeah, you're up in volume. Uh, well, let's go to the OIH because I know we have a couple traders out there trading this OIH. Okay, so this got volume behind the move today. Yeah, this is a nice move, man. It's taking its swing point out. Oh, you look at this. You got an ABC up. Okay, hold on. Let's do it. 193.97. Ooh, it's a big one, man. Holy cow. It's 29 bucks. Uh, 77. That's 201, 203. So 203 is coming at us. And 215 is your next swing point. 203 is coming at you. That's how this baby's set up right now. You get volume coming in. We get... 1.2 million shares today. Your B point on this is 603,000 shares. B point is 193.97. That one's this one's higher price. Let's go see what Exxon and Chevron are doing. And XOM. So Exxon right now. That's a buck 78. Maybe that. That's paying a 6% dividend, man. Unbelievable. Chevron, that's paying a 5.4% dividend, and that's at these prices. Yeah, Exxon actually looks a little bit stronger than Chevron right now. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now about 271. NASDAQ up 130. S&P's up 40. Let's go to our man, Jose in Lakeland. What's going on, brother? You there? Okay. I don't have him. He missed a left him. But I think he was. Last time I talked to him, he was, he was trading Nike. And, uh, Hello. What's going on, man? Hey, how's it going, Tom? Tom, Tom uh, a couple weeks ago, you made a provocative statement. Uh, you said something about Wells Fargo, kind of negative. Do you care to retract that statement? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I mean, Tom, they did give me a, a Sunbeam toaster 20 years ago when I opened the checking account. That's all. That's the only reason I'm asking. That's a beautiful thing, man. Totally. <laughs> yeah. It did burn out and burn down. It shorted out and burned down my kitchen. I'm not too happy. But anyway, Tom, Royal Gold. Uh, I'm long Royal Gold right now against my better judgment. Okay. So I see it pop up two and a half in the morning and then fades away all day. Yeah. And it, let's see, 109.95. Okay, this close is all right, man. It's, it's the, one, the 109.01 that you got to watch, okay? So and where I'm going with that, Jose, that's, that's the high volume low of August, I mean, uh, June 18th. I mean, June 8th, all right? No, June 18th. So it rejected lower price again this morning at that at that level. So that's saying higher price is coming at you, man. I mean, it's it's a close call here, but that's. But do the gold pull back with the general market? I right, listen. I know. I, you know they didn't. This is what what ended up happening last week when we got that strength. That was the first day that we actually got strength where the market was coming down. You that's know. Right. So it's. We know we've been doing this long enough that most of the time, the general market pulls back, goals pull back too. You know, that's that's we we know that, that's the bottom line. That being said, when we got that strength last week, gold, gold, the gold, the gold miners and the oil, they're the ones that went higher dramatically and stayed higher. So right now, the miners have outperformed the metal, and that's what I was waiting for. So is that what you're seeing? The miners seem to yes. be. There's no Gold doubt about that. Right. Today or so and, right. And these are up. Right. Right. Yeah. Hey, what you do at Nike? Oh, boy. I was long. I was short. Now I'm out. Um, okay. Uh, I, I thought you may have been wrong on that big rally last week at Nike, but I, I think you'll end up being correct again, and that gap will get filled to, what, 155, 150? Yeah, it'll take a while, but it, it got down to yeah. 155.67 today and rejected price, so you'll get some kind of a bounce. But it's building cause to get into that gap, man, so it's going to be intriguing watching that play out because we know Nike's a great company, man. I mean, if Nike he goes into that gap, man, everything's going down. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what That's I mean? It's right. like, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it'll uh, right. it'll um, uh, it'll head down with everything else. Uh, I think this, um, I think you'll probably get a rally right through uh, options expiration Friday, but uh, I don't know. I'm no, on that, that, uh, AMD I, I, also. I'm not I, liking I, it. I can see that because even Dave White was talking about in his show, you know, now this is prior to this market going up here, folks, okay, that, you know, he watches these option market makers in a big way, what they're looking at, and they, they weren't getting nervous at all, you know, bottom line saying that the S&P should be somewhere around 4,500, and we're at 4,487, so, I mean, right, you right. know. Well, he uses technical analysis. I, uh, I use a Ouija board, so. That's good. I like All it. All right. Fellas. Okay, man. 
Have a great one. Have a safe one. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at the XAU and the HUI because I believe what we actually uh, got here yesterday is that we're going to need more volume in both of these. Let's see. So we popped yesterday with 25 million. Well, that's not bad. You're going into 22 on the XAU. We take a look at the Gold Bugs Index. This is up 26 cents today. 19 versus 17. Okay, so hey, and both of those, uh, this is a little tricky. And both of those, that's they both want higher price, man. Uh, meaning that I thought we actually would, didn't have enough volume yesterday, but we did. We take a look at, uh, oh, look at this thing. Man. This is unbelievable. Okay, so PPLT. This is the Platinum uh, ETF. The low in this baby uh, for the year is $77. The high is $122. You're trading $88. This is, let me bring this up. Okay, I got to bring this up. This has been a one-way route on the way down. PL, I'm going to bring up actually the platinum active contract first. You're at 934. You know, what? what is amazing, folks, okay, and I know many of you have listened for years, you know, commodities no doubt can go higher, lower, all of the above, and the, the, the play on platinum has been one of the most dramatic plays um, that I've seen in a long period of time, meaning that gold's almost $2,000. Platinum is always traded higher than gold, excluding the last five years. And platinum is only $934. So the question that one of the Tigers have out here right now, let me put this on a generic contract, PL1. When I, when I go to a generic contract, folks, by the way, what I'm doing is this. Uh, the reason I go to that is that the future contract only gets back three months. So when you go to the generic, you can put this on a longer term monthly, okay? and weekly okay first I'm gonna put it on a three-year weekly just to see where you came back into okay so you came back into strength that was developed out here going back to December of 2020 you rejected lower price right now yeah listen man um, if you're looking to take a shot at the PPLT I'd say that yeah you can do it and if you're looking folks you know for physical metal um, you know the bottom line is that uh, <laughs> Let me compare it right now. Compare this to, there it is. Okay, so I just put this up comparing it to gold, and I'm going to put this on a 10-year monthly. And where do you see this? Okay, so uh, that doesn't work. Let's see, five-year weekly. You're going to see that, okay, so going back, yeah, going back to 2017, oh, here's the cross right here. The cross is right there, right? Yellow. Yellow is the gold. Yeah, yellow is the gold, right. So the cross happened in 17, and we're at 21. Um, you know, and what I mean by the cross, folks, the cross meaning that platinum went under the price of gold. Gold keeps going. Platinum keeps going down. Yeah, this would be a great place to start it. So if you do buy platinum, folks, right, what you want to do, don't, you know, you, if, you, if you're going to keep something for a long period of time, yeah, you could go get, you know, the platinum coins, but you're going to pay the premium is going to be huge on them. What you can do is you can just get a, a, the platinum ounces. Um, they are a better investment if you're looking just to make money on the platinum, on the metal itself. That's, that's how that goes, okay? Because the, thank you, Mike, the bars. The, bar, the bars are a much better investment. Um, and, you know, tomorrow morning, I might buy a bunch of it myself. <laughs> you know, it's like, it, it, it's hard to comprehend. But guess what? The bottom line, um, it is what it is. And platinum is uh, out here at nine and change and gold's at 17.95. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 260. Nasdaq's up 132. S&Ps are up 40. We'll come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. And uh, so Tiger just turned me on to, I know this company, but man, I, I haven't seen it for a long time. This is a SCOA, folks, okay? A-N-G-P-Y, Okay. Anglo-American Platinum, okay? The low for the year out here is uh, $10. The high is 24. This pays a 9.4% dividend. Uh, so if you're looking for dividend stocks simultaneously in a play. Now, this is a very illiquid stock, okay? So you can see it only did 11,000 shares today. What do we have out here? 17,000 yesterday. Oh, my God. It does no volume, but, man... That is one monster premium. And so this is predicated more than likely on the, on, the, on the price of platinum and palladium, okay? When they break this down, they do palladium 33 billion, rhodium 32 billion, platinum 17 billion, other uh, gold and silver 6.4 million, billion rather. They do 137 million, a billion rather, a billion with a B. This is something to look at, man. That, you know, if you're in this for a longer period of time, uh, now the spread is big. You can see the spread is 72 cents just to get in and get out of it. So you don't buy this to trade it. Uh, but you don't see 9.4% uh, dividends. And the way that a lot of these work, because of the South Africans, I, I, I've, whole, I've held these South Africans sometimes for uh, quite some time. And they pay twice a year, folks, okay? Big dividends, though, depending what you're, well, they're not... Big dividend. They're not like that. And thank you, uh, our Tiger EKS, because I'm buying this freaking thing tomorrow, for sure. I mean, 
I, I'll take the shot that, you know, platinum is close to the lows. And uh, I think we can get some action, man. Um, you know, we don't have to go hand over fist, but 10% premium, man. 10% dividend. That's, it, we've seen them. I've seen them in the pipelines and all that. But we know what the aspect there is. I have to, I'm going to look at as, as what the platinum number is. Play the palladium number, which is uh, there. Someone just sold down those uh, those NQs, though, that's for sure. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. He kicks us off, 9 a.m. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible.